everyone welcome back to the next vlog so this vlog is going to be the first one since we got back from our travels you'll know that we were in lisbon and lake como and we got back at the weekend and honestly since i got back i have just been doing a total refresh reset of my life getting ready for the new season we're obviously coming into autumn and i just think it's such a good Kind of chance and opportunity to kind of get your life back on track and i'm sure there's some of you out there who are super organized and maybe don't need to do this but i know me anyway when i kind of go through a busy phase or i always think the summer is kind of a crazy time and things get a little bit disorganized so when it comes into the new season i'm like right let's get this like fresh slate again and start afresh and just be organized and excited and ready for the new season so that's what i've been doing so over the last few days i have been doing bits and pieces and i figured i would just show you today exactly what i have been doing and the insane difference it has made to my life and my mind and my organization and everything like i kind of spent the whole weekend doing certain things and today is now wednesday and oh my god i have been like calm organized like just ready for the week this week because of the things i did and i also have a few more things on my list that i'm going to be doing over the next few days and i'm going to vlog that as well so this will be a vlog but it's kind of going to be a vlog about basically how to reset for autumn because i'll show you the things that i've done talk about how they've helped how i did them and kind of like a little bit of a, a list that you can tick off things you don't have to do them all of course you can pick out one or two things you think will help you or you can do them all like me <laughs> and hopefully also feel super organized too so let's get right into it first things first the first thing I tackled straight away was my apartment I don't know about you but I'm a Virgo so I'm very much the kind of person that if my space and home isn't organized and tidy the rest of my life is a complete and utter shambles and I wish I wasn't like that because it honestly distracts me so much but it is what it is and I do find that once I get my home in place everything else falls into place so what I did was I literally dedicated, I'd say two days, like two full days. Tommy helped me a little bit as well. And we just tackled room by room and got the place ready. And of course, the first place I started was my wardrobe. I think when you're doing a clear out, a wardrobe is the best place to start because one it takes a little bit of time and two when that's done, you just feel so much better and the rest is kind of easy in comparison. So my wardrobe situation if you've watched my videos all the time you'll kind of have an idea but basically it's a bit split up so this is my bedroom kind of like a mini apartment door <laughs> and then in this room over here is my office hello Kiln. let me see Kiln's here as well we're in the middle of a work day so these are my two rooms and my wardrobe is kind of split so my main wardrobe i'll turn around the camera and i'll show you okay so i have this big wardrobe number one and then i have a rail here and then i have this small little um section in here as well so that's what i'm working with it's kind of annoying that it's split up but it's new york and it is what it is so so basically I did the switch over slash reorganization because I think when you come into a new season you have to give your wardrobe a bit of a refresh just to kind of remember what you have and remember the pieces you forgot about and honestly it did me the world of good and then on this side I just got stuff ready to fill in some new hauls coming your way there might actually be some already live by the time this video goes live and if not they're coming I have so many new autumn videos uh, to fill in for you so yes, number one, just do your reorganization. Obviously all of us don't live places where we have all the different seasons, but here in New York we do. Like summer is roasting, autumn is like cooler, but still light jackets. And then once we get into winter, it's faux furs and huge jackets and scarves and everything. So throughout the year, I do kind of have to switch my wardrobe. And I just like having the pieces that I wear the most prominent like in my face so that's why i have this rail because we're going to be coming into cold season now and then these are all my new bits that i have so first things first if you want to start the season on a good note put aside like three four five hours to do your wardrobe it did take me a full day but i was like 
deep cleaning like properly properly doing it i have two big bags for charity i have a suitcase full of things to bring home to ireland to sell on dress up market the app that i sell my clothes on so i really dug deep this time and was completely ruthless because as you can see i don't have a crazy amount of space and realistically this rail shouldn't be here it kind of takes up a lot of space in the bedroom but what can you do um Step so yeah. number two i tackled the kitchen i think that's always the second place i go to because besides getting dressed every day this this is where we spend a lot of our time making breakfast and meals well to be honest not a lot of time but i think once you have a good kitchen in any house it just makes everything a bit easier so i've done a kitchen tour before the kitchen as you can see it's new york it's nothing too fancy or special but it does the job and we have everything that we need and we don't have an awful lot of storage so we have to be kind of smart and what I did was I took everything out of all the presses as well and this is the only way to do because you find out if things maybe have gone off or just you know there's always a few bits you kind of need to get rid of and then I refilled all our containers um well not all of them I set up to get pasta <laughs> but of course the spaghetti one is full my favorite food and just like organized all the spices and up here then I put baskets up here just to get everything organized so again kind of like the wardrobe just take everything out get rid of what you don't want what's gone off what you don't need and then refill so we did a big food shop over the weekend as well and just stocked up so the fridge well it's wednesday now so it's a little bit more empty but we just stocked up on our food for the week because it's the only way i'm healthy like literally the only way if i have the food here and it's easy to make and i just kind of have a plan so we did all that and what i also did and i know it's kind of time consuming but i actually took out all the cutlery all the plates all the cups and like rewashed everything and put them back in just gave the place a complete refresh we did the oven just like a deep deep clean and then you can be fully ready to start afresh and it's also a good time to stock up on like cleaning supplies i know this is super boring <laughs> but if any of you watch mrs hinch it's actually very on trend at the moment um but just stock up on your cleaning supplies and make sure you have everything and it's just a good time to just kind of take a general restock like what do you need basically for the month ahead and it's so good to do at the start of the month because it saves you running out to the shop or forgetting something or you know all the usual stuff so okay the wardrobe's done the kitchen's done our storage room's done um i'm sure a lot of you might have more rooms than that <laughs> when you come to the stage of your apartment or your home but that's what i'm kind of working with here uh, and these probably are some of the rooms that we use the most so once i had them done i already felt better and then i was able to kind of do the other part of the apartment which is a little bit easier so we have a little entryway here let me just show you this is our little entryway inside the door and the one thing i want to talk to you about here is that what i did was i just put out some new candles i got a new diffuser there had been a diffuser here but it was like definitely gone it needed a refresh so I got a new one and set that up these ones are from Bailey and Brooke and then I put up a new candle from her Esther's aromas I love her candles and she's so lovely as well um so I put that out so just kind of taking out the candles burning them I'm such a person that I know some people keep their candles and they keep them for a special occasion but I couldn't be more opposite if I have them I burn it so we got that plate and I went through all these drawers and just cleared them out like you know those drawers that you just throw things into throughout the year like i these are those drawers and i finally went through them and the bathroom i gave a refresh made sure everything like new shampoos all that kind of stuff and then our dining area which always goes very bright but what i did nothing too much here but I, but i put out some halloween decorations i know it's maybe a tiny bit early but i had these from last year and i found them <laughs> when we were clearing out the storage room so i put two here and and I got some new flowers so this room really didn't need much um just added in the pumpkins and then i put another pumpkin i only have three oh, did you hear that beeping i only have three so i put the third one here and again candle and diffuser yeah, very very easy and the sitting room i didn't really do much to just kind of tidied up the shelves and the bar cart a little bit and just kind of gave the place a bit of a fluff up and a tidy and that is it in relation to the apartment clean so as i said small apartment i don't have a crazy amount to clean but you'd be surprised the stuff that accumulates like honestly i couldn't believe all the stuff that we were giving to charity and just like throwing away and things that had accumulated that we 
did not need you know there's always those things you think it's there you think you'll use it at some time but no you won't you'll never use it be a minimalist that's what i'm trying to be and for me because now i know i'm moving in five months so i have five months to just cut down my stuff as much as i can which basically means i have less stuff to move and that's the main reason that i'm doing it because the less stuff to move the easier it's going to be so even now throughout these next five months i'm going to keep doing this like once a month and try and cut down and cut down each time so that is kind of step number one and the different components in what i did for a refresh just a total deep clean and then area number two I guess of kind of a refresh for a new season or a new month or whatever it is is in relation to your work so obviously for me I work for myself on the blog and this channel full-time so Monday morning was October 1st I love when the first of a month falls on a Monday I just think it's a great time to actually get things done so what I did was Kaylin came into the office that morning and we just sat down and spent a good hour like planning the month the more you can plan ahead for your work no matter what it is whether you work for yourself whether you work for a company whether you work part-time whatever it is like the more organized in your head that you can be and like know what you have to do throughout a month it makes such a difference i know it sounds like the most obvious thing in the world but i think for me during august and september and probably all summer i just didn't do enough planning i think and i was just a bit scattered especially during september because i was a bit busier but i think if i had been better at planning my content and knowing my deadlines and knowing when things have to go up i would have been better at keeping on top of things even in a busy period so just being super organized so what we did was we did our content calendar so I'll show you I'll try not to show you <laughs> the actual content so I won't ruin the surprise all throughout the month of what we're actually posting but I'll just show you the format that we use okay so as you can see we have our different months this is all in Google Docs and we just use the Excel sheet so this is October 18 so I won't show you that one but I'll show you September just so you can see the format it's not really filled in much because as I said we weren't as organized in September but basically we just put in all the days the dates and then we have um, a blog or YouTube because either one or the other goes live every day throughout the week Instagram and then any drafts we have due to send to brand so that's how we do it and we just build this ourselves like just go on to Google Docs go into the Excel sheet and you can build it out however you want ours is very basic but it really really is effective for us and we know exactly what's going on everything's in different colors we actually have a better organized for October we use like different colors for different things but just to give you an idea this is how it works and then one other thing I've been doing, um, just in relation to getting my mind on track for a new season, has been reading. So I got this new book when I was in the airport on the way to Lisbon, and I'm really into like motivational business books. I know everyone isn't, but they really, really help me. Like I always say to Kellen, when I'm reading a motivational book, I work better at the same time like it just things stick in my mind and I think about those things that I've just read like the next day when I'm doing some sort of a task or I'm working with a client or just they stick in my head so I think that as much as I can I force myself to be reading a book at all times so a new season I got a new book and I really recommend doing that again no matter what kind of work you do or what industry that you're in I think there's books that can help all of us no matter what we do so this is the one that I got it's called Smart faster better and it's by the author Charles Duhigg D-U-H-I-G-G He's really well known um, for his book, The Power of Habit. And when I put this on my Insta story, lots of you actually DM'd me saying that you've read Power of Habit and that you really want to try this one next. So I kind of did it backwards. So I'll probably read this one and then do the habit one. But I am loving this so far. I've been kind of reading it. I started it when I was in Lisbon, but the trip was quite busy, both Lisbon and Lake Como. So I didn't get an awful lot of a chance to read. But I have been reading on the plane and then I've been reading every night since I got back. I don't read an awful lot at once. I'm not that kind of person person that sits down and like reads a hundred pages at once I just I don't have the attention span for it but I've been reading like maybe 10 pages a day um or a little bit more when I was on the plane and I have absolutely seen a difference I know it's only been a week <laughs> but I've definitely seen a difference and I can't wait to finish it I'm on chapter 
I'm on page 121, so not bad. There's like about 300 pages all together, so I'm like a third there. So I'll definitely give you an update on this book when I finish. Probably on my blog, I might do a written review, or I'll talk about it in a video, whatever, whenever it kind of pops up. So in a nutshell, that's kind of what I've been up to. Um, cleaning, cleansing, reading, being a very organized person for a week. We'll see how long this lasts, but it's definitely been a great start. And now for the rest of the week, I'm gonna try and keep it going. As I said, I have a few more things on my list, so I'll bring you along with me. This evening, I'm actually going to an event. One of my friends has launched a clothing line. She's a blogger, really well-known blogger here in New York, and she launched a clothing line. She's having an event tonight, and I'm going to that. And then me and Tommy are doing a date night. And does this tie in with this kind of video? I actually didn't think it did, but I think on second thoughts it does because one of my goals for the rest of the year is to have a little bit more of a work-life balance and just try and plan ahead in the evenings for things to do because if I don't have a plan in the evening, I will be sitting in that office until like 9 p.m. and then I will go to bed. <laughs> so it's not very like healthy to be doing that. So I think for the next three months in New York, because they're my favorite months here and there's so much fun stuff going on especially, I'm just gonna aim to make more concrete plans for the evenings to go meet friends and go to events and go out with Tommy and just do things in the evenings that aren't work basically. So I guess that is kind of like tip number four we'll put that in there so that's what I'm going doing this evening so I'll kind of go back to a regular vlog now for the next clip because I'll bring you to the event with me I'm probably going to change I was wearing this just today just a blazer and jeans and my Zara shoes um so I'll probably change into something a little bit fancier and I'll bring you to that and then tomorrow more tips about refreshing and I'll tell you what else I'm going to be doing so better go finish my work now and I will check in when I'm dressed and ready to go to the event hours later um i kind of changed but kind of kept the same look going i just took off the t-shirt inside this added a skirt and kept on these shoes so i'm going to go downtown now i'm going to actually jump on the subway because it's going to be quicker because it's literally rush hour it's about half five so i'm going to get the subway down to 14th street and then go over to milk studios for the first event and then i have another event with shandon the champagne company and bobble bar and then i'm going to meet tommy tickets which fair play on his part because a boy that like voluntarily decides to sit through something like that brownie points um so we're going there now it should be fun i've only been to one broadway show this is my second one so very excited Next vlogging day, um, oh my god, last night was so fun. Tommy surprised me with those tickets because it's my favorite movie and we actually just recently watched it. Well, I made him watch it. <laughs> but yeah, it was really, really good, really fun. And yeah, definitely recommend it if you're in New York. But it's the next day anyway and I'm actually heading downtown to Soho to get my hair cut. And I think this is part of this video because I feel like every season we need to be reminded to get our hair cut. And look how crazy my hair has gone i think this is the longest it's been in a while and honestly not a good look it's just dead like look how it's like stuck to my head because there's no volume because it's just weighed down so i'm going to go down to soho i'm probably going to cut maybe i don't know this much i would say this much of it um we'll see how brave i am that's the plan for today i've just been filming videos this morning getting caught up on things and getting ready for the weekend again this is my look today actually um 
it's just this like a little slip dress that I've had for ages and I put it outside a plain black polo neck and these boots which I just love so much and my Givenchy bag and I'm going to bring a little black kind of blazer jacket over it nothing too heavy because it's still not freezing here but kind of a nice transition fall look yes next on the list get yourself ready for a new season so I'm gonna get my hair cut and then tomorrow morning I'm gonna get my nails done embarrassed to show you they are so bad and I actually also on kind of a less superficial note I also went to the dentist and I got my teeth cleaned I really recommend doing that it's like my regular dentist so it's not like a specific hygienist or anything I just go to my regular dentist got my teeth cleaned and I try and do it like once every six months so it's good kind of at the start of autumn I do it and then whenever the next six months is just kind of it's a good reminder so that's another thing and if you need to go to the doctor for a doctor's appointment I truly think that checkups are taking your blood or something like a smear test now is the time to do it this is your reminder um, not to get too serious here on the vlog but it's really important I think we life just flies past us and we do remember things like getting our hair done or getting a facial or going to get our nails done but sometimes we, we forget that going to the doctor and the dentist are way more important than that so book your appointments if you haven't already Keeping on the health note while I think of it. So I haven't been to the gym in two months. I walked past my gym, was it two days ago or at the beginning of this week? And I was reminded that I haven't been in there since before I went to Ireland, which is not good because I don't really go to the gym so much for like losing weight and stuff like that. I go just to keep healthy and to get my energy levels up. And when I don't go, I definitely notice a difference. So when I walked past it, I was like, okay, this weekend I'm gonna start it. So I'm gonna go tomorrow, but what I'm gonna tell you about is I actually have a new plan. Lots of you always ask me like, what's my workout routine or what I do in the gym? And to be honest, it always kind of changes for me, but there has been some plans in the past that I've done that I felt were really good and they really worked. And I don't mind signing up for plans that are like a year long or like six months or something like that. That scares me. I am not going to stick to that. So I signed up to a four week plan and I figured I'd tell you about it because just in case you want to sign up as well, um, I actually have a discount code. So if you want to sign up as well and we could do it together, you can kind of follow me along on Insta stories because I'll be showing it on there all the time. And it's with Paul Shari. I think I've talked about him on the vlogs before, but basically he's this personal trainer in Ireland. I'm gonna show you his new app now, but he's a personal trainer in Ireland and I've worked with him before. So he gave me a plan before and I helped him promote it. And he's such a nice guy and so knowledgeable. I've like followed him ever since then. That was about a year ago and I follow him on Instagram now and then he got back in touch recently and he's launching kind of like an app for his plans when you sign up for his plans now you're able to kind of manage everything in an app which is so much better than the last time I did it so I signed up for a new one to help him promote this which is a great excuse for me to have to do it it's perfect timing I said to him I won't do when I'm in Ireland when I come back from like my Italy and Lisbon trips let's get started and the time is now so <laughs> so I have the app on my phone let me turn around I'll show you so here it is here, Shape Up with Shari. And I just got my plan. He just sent it to me yesterday. I haven't started it. Sorry, I can't see what I'm pressing through the camera. Oh, here it is. Okay, so I have my workouts. I'm going to be doing four workouts a week, which I think is pretty achievable. And I also have a meal plan. And it kind of tells me how much protein I should be having. And there's four different meal plans he's given me. So I can pick one whichever day I feel like it. And it's all different meals in there. I'm going mostly vegetarian um so he's made a kind of a way that i'm still going to be able to get protein and things like that so i'm actually so excited to get started the last time i did this plan he just sent me kind of all this information via email so what i used to have to do was like screenshot the workout thing and like have it in a picture on my phone and then when i was in the gym i would look at the picture but now i can do everything in the app and the good thing too so for example home day one this is like my day one um workout every week and there's a video so he shows you in the video i'll just play this so you can see this is him seconds, you can reps, see reps, he shows you exactly reps, what to do reps. so yeah you get the idea 
so I think that makes such a difference so that's my first start in relation to fitness I figured I'd just fill you in so I'll leave that discount code below if you fancy signing up as well his plans are really reasonably priced and you kind of like fill out a questionnaire you talk to him about your goals your eating habits things like that and then he makes you a customized plan just for you it all goes into this new app and you can track everything in the app you put in like a before picture and then at the end of the four weeks when I'm finished I'll be putting in my after picture and we'll see if there is a difference as I said I'm not really doing it for like losing weight and things like that but it would be nice to tone up it would be nice to have some abs would never say no to them and just to have more energy and stuff so we can track everything in the app which is really really good and yeah keep an eye on my insta stories for updates I'll probably update you in the vlog as well and yeah wish me luck I'm gonna head down now and get my haircut so I'll bring you with me and I also have a quick meeting beforehand somewhere really really pretty in Soho so I'll show you that and then I'll check in again soon and show you my hair got to get my hair done. I'm gonna cut a good bit off it. I'm here with Jordi. We're in um, Frederick Pakai. I did a collaboration with Jordi. That was like this time last year almost. Like almost a year ago. Yeah. I'm finally back now to get my hair cut again. And back to where I started. Look how short it is. Um, I cut five inches off. Let me come over near the light so I can show you properly wow um I don't know some of you might even notice that big of a difference but my hair had gotten so long it, my hair was like down to here and I cut it up to kind of like boob length I suppose you would say um he put not that many layers and stuff through it just kind of um the same structure I like trimmed up and shaped up this area around my face and yeah so much healthier so definitely a fresh start for autumn um I think it's always good to kind of switch it up every now and again and my hair is definitely my safety net so I do love the long hair but I just love like the shorter hair trend that's going on right now and this is kind of like I guess my version it's still obviously long just shorter for me so i hope you like it let me know in the comments um tommy is home now and we're gonna go meet kellen and david we're gonna get some food i'm not sure if i'm gonna change oh kellen's ringing me i better go answer that <laughs> but i will check in either later or tomorrow again i did that once <laughs> next day and first day styling the new hair um, we're just at home, it's actually the evening. We're gonna make some dinner while well, Tommy just put on food for curry. Ooh, it looks so good. Lots and lots of veg. We're gonna have some rice on, so we're gonna have some dinner now. I am just back. I got my nails done and I did my toes as well, even though probably don't really need to, but it's nice to have them done. And I filmed two more videos. <laughs> I'm on a roll, um, just trying to get organized for the weeks ahead, but yeah, this is like a better look at the hair today. I just kind of did my own curls. I'm probably gonna finish up this vlog pretty soon because um, I think we're gonna head out for a few drinks tonight. But I do have a few new products that I've been buying this week that I'm gonna just pop into the end of this vlog because they kind of do go with the theme of this vlog. Um, they're like skincare kind of products I guess. I went to an event with um, Skin SkinCeuticals and I got to make my own skincare serum which was really really cool so I've started using that so hopefully I will see a difference and then I also bought a new hair mask Um, I currently use John Frieda shampoo and conditioner the one for the redhead but I do find that every now and again my hair still needs a mask and especially when it was really long it might be as bad now that it's a little bit shorter but I still like to do a mask once a week if not more I'm a big mask girl and I love this one let me turn around and show you so it's the Kerstas um, Nutrivive Mask Intense okay pronouncing that all wrong but just take a quick screenshot of this um, if you want to look into it it is such a good one it's for thick hair so if you have thinner hair maybe not this one but if you do have thick hair like me i swear by this and used with like your regular shampoo and conditioner it's just like a really nice kind of um treat every now and again and then the last new product to show you um if you've been following for a while you'll know that i do love my um self tan my fake tan i actually just put on some when i came back from getting my nails done and i used to always use um so i used to be perfect 
Project Tan. I work with them as an ambassador for the last year. Um, so I use their tan all the time and I love it. And then I always used to use the Bandai Sands um, tan eraser because it'd be perfect to have one. So Bandai Sands was like the best one that I could find on the market. So I'd put on my tan every like four to five days and then I'd go in with the eraser like the fourth or fifth day to kind of start afresh to put on the new coat and I was like chatting with the Be Perfect team because I talk to them obviously very often and I was like when are you going to come out with an eraser um, and they did finally so they launched their self tan eraser and I tried it this morning and oh my god it's so so good it's quite similar um, like routine to the Bondi Sands one that I used to use but it has this like strawberry scent see the way it says strawberry scented and oh my god it's smells <laughs> so nice way nicer than the one I used to use so I use that this morning you put it on for like six to eight minutes it says so you just like pat it into your skin where you have tan on leave it soak in and then go into the shower with just like a, I get a face cloth and you just like rub off the tan and it just glides off because you know when you have tan on that's like a bit stubborn and you really have to like scrub it to get it off it's that just can't be good for our skin so this eraser just kind of means that it comes off a lot easier and then I came out of the shower and I put on a new coat and I am ready to go again I might wear something a bit more like going out each night I feel like I've been in very worky clothes all week because I've been filming and getting back to normal um but anyway that's kind of a quick update on new products so it is a good time of the season to just like stock up on things you need um this hair mask is pricey. When I went to the till, I got it in Ricky's and she was like, 68.50. I was like, oh my God, I forgot how expensive this hair mask is. Um, but I do think it's worth it. Like I think that those masks really do keep your hair um, intact, especially for someone like me who styles it and curls it and straightens it all the time. So this is a good time of the year to stock up on those bits that you need because the winter is kind of harsh on our hair. And then obviously, tan all year round <laughs> for someone like me i probably will go back to the medium tan for the winter i kind of moved over to the darker tan for the summer oh that light is a bit crazy for the summer um but i will go back now to the medium for the winter just to give myself a bit of a glow you know it's nice just to kind of i don't know have something going on <laughs> and it's still not freezing freezing here but anyway i'm probably going to leave it here i really hope you enjoyed this video um it was kind of a chatty one. I'm sorry if it was like quite long. I'm gonna try and cut it down to as like brief and concise as possible. But hopefully you took some tips and inspiration from it. I kind of just filmed it super casual. I was gonna do like a sit down video where I talked through each step, but I figured I figured it might just be nicer if I'm bringing you along the last couple of days and just talking to you about the tips throughout the video. So let me know what you thought of the format. Um, if you hate it, of course I'll do it different the next time, but if you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments, give the video a thumbs up. I'm now back to my usual Tuesday, Thursday posting schedule and then some weeks there will be bonus videos on Sundays. So be sure to subscribe, there's loads of videos coming up over the next few weeks and then we're nearly into Vlogmas. Can you believe it? It is almost December. Well, not almost December, but I have to admit I've been thinking about Vlogmas. It's only like two months away. Wow, so there'll be a video every day in December and in the meantime there'll be new videos every Tuesday and Thursday and some Sundays. So I'm gonna leave it here, we're gonna go have the curry now and get ready to go out and I will see you in the next video. Bye!